Suppose you have a differential equation. x prime is some function of t and x. And you want to find the solution, but you can't do it exactly. So you do a numerical approximation. There are a lot of different formulas for approaches for how to do that, how to perform the estimate. I looked at those formulas recently, and as equations, they were kind of an impenetrable mess. So I drew a picture of them, and it got a lot clearer. So first of all, here are the formulas xi is where you are now, ti is the time you're at now. You want to get to ti plus h, the next time step, and you want to know what xi plus 1 is. And these are different formulas. There's explicit Euler, implicit Euler, trapezoidal, midpoint, and Hume's method, as well as Runge-Kata, which I'll write out later. These are hard to read, so let's draw a picture. Here's what those formulas mean visually. First of all, the explicit method we go here, since we know the slopes everywhere from the differential equation, we can take the slope right here, extrapolate it from ti to ti plus h. We get the point here, that's our estimate. For implicit, instead of taking the slope on the left, we take the slope on the right. But we don't know what the point is yet, so what's the slope? That's why we, it's implicit. We have to solve the equation to find out where it is, and then that's the line we use. That's the implicit estimate. Next up, trapezoidal rule. We go halfway explicit and then the other half with the implicit slope. The midpoint, we go halfway with the explicit, then we find the slope at the midpoint and use that for the second half. And finally, Hume's method, we use the explicit method to find all the way at the end. We find out what the slope is there, back up halfway, and use that slope that I marked in red to get Hume's method estimate. Those are those five formulas that I showed you. Phosphite, Runge-Kata method. Here's the formula. It uses four different slopes that are defined recursively. The first slope, m1, is just the slope at a. The second slope, m2, is the slope when you go halfway explicit, so it's the slope at n. To get the third slope, you go back to the beginning, use the slope at m, go up halfway, and that's the point there, you find that slope, and that is m3. Finally, you take slope m3, go back to the beginning, and follow it all the way up, find the slope there, and that is m4. And then slopes 1, 2, 3, and 4 get put together in sort of a weighted average here. And that would give you the runge kata estimate. I think that makes a lot more sense visually than it did as a formula mess. I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.